So what is going on guys, NativeBase93 here with another video and today we have an epic, and I mean an epic collab video between myself and four other creators to kind of show off our desk setup. So sit back, relax, and enjoy guys. Let's get it started. So as you guys can see, my desk, the actual desk itself is pretty much set up. I'm still waiting on what to do with this backdrop here, but that'll come all in due time. But I did want to show off my desk setup with you guys or for you guys. But before we get started on that, I did collaborate, like I said in the very beginning, with four awesome creators who have been doing this stuff for a very long time and they're amazing. So we got David, RJ, Coach, and my man Patrick Rambles that are ready to kind of show off their desk and give you guys insight on how they do what they do and how their desk is set up and why it's set up that way. So without further ado, David, start us off. Thanks so much for having me on board, Fernando. Hey, everybody. My name is David A. Velez from DAV Tech, and today I'm going to be helping you all figure out a DIY solution. So picture this. You have your wireless charger, USB-C hub, your keyboard adapters, your light strips, and knickknacks to help breathe life into your desk setup. But you're like me and either A, still waiting for your iPad stand to come in, or B, you're looking for a way to kind of do it yourself. If so, grab a hold of your iPad box and come with me. Now first, place the main box widthwise on your desk. Next, take the lid and stand it upright long ways inside of the main box. Then take your iPad and set it against the inner lip of the main box and lean it up against the lid for leverage. You might be thinking, well, Dave, there's nothing to actually leverage keeping the lid propped up. Well, thankfully for you, all you need is a small box. You can use a pop figure box if you want to, if that works. Or if maybe all you have is a small box left over from your strip lights or fairy lights for your desk, you can use that too. Or if maybe even all you have left is the wireless charging box to your wireless charger, that also works. All right, and now that all of you know how to make your own iPad stand at home, I'm going to hand you over to a businessman who has a pretty sweet iPad productivity setup. Uh, hey, Patrick, it's time to ramble. He'll be with you in a second. All right, calm down, Dave. It's not like we're on a different continent. Oh, wait. What's up, guys? I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So I'm in the very privileged position to have two desks in my small office. I have my main desk, which has everything on it or mounted underneath it that I could possibly need. You'll see my audio interface, my CalDigit Thunderbolt hub, microphone, lights, and of course the famous RJ plant. You have to have this plant or they won't let you be on YouTube. Anyway, at times this desk can feel a bit cluttered and overwhelming. So when I really need to focus, I like to switch to my iPad setup, which is a very clean desk with minimal distractions. I really like the white elements on the walnut countertop. So the iPad sits on this white stand by Heckler. I really love this design because it's super sturdy and it puts my iPad exactly at eye level, which is very comfortable. If I need to use my iPad for writing or sketching, I'll use my 12 South Compass instead. It's nice and heavy, very portable, and super easy to set up. To control my iPad, I use an Apple Magic Keyboard, a Magic Trackpad, and the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. Although the speakers on the iPad are pretty decent, I use these white and yellow speakers by Edifier for my audio. They connect via Bluetooth and they sound pretty decent, but mostly I have them because they look nice. I have this 3-in-1 charger by Belkin, which can charge my iPhone, but also an Apple Watch and AirPods. If I need to connect anything to my iPad, I use this 12 South USB-C hub. It has a couple of USB-A ports, a USB-C pass-through for power, an SD card and a micro SD card reader, an HDMI port, and it even has an Ethernet port for that lightning fast internet. Lastly, I keep these three IKEA cactuses on my desk because I'm such an original. Cactuses? Cacti? Cacti. Whatever, they're white. I love switching between setups every now and then because it keeps me focused. All right, that's it for my setup. Let's hand over to a good friend of mine, Coach. Let's get plugged in. Okay, all the way back to the US. Thanks, Pat, I appreciate you. And welcome back to the Coach Plugged In channel where I keep you plugged into your tech here in 2020 and beyond. Now, my iPad Pro desk setup is the same desk setup I use for my computer. I just kind of have it more so interchangeable from my MacBook to my iPad, but I mostly use it with my iPad Pro. It is the autonomous 
sit stand desk it's the smart desk too and hooked up to the ipad pro is my 12 south state go and i have all my ports on there to plug up to the screen and also plug in anything else i need for the ipad pro i'm using the 2018 11 inch ipad pro with the apple magic keyboard and i have a decal skin on the apple magic keyboard just to make it have a different look more so than everybody else's iPad Pro. Now on the desk itself, of course, I have a plant just like everybody else. My plant actually came from Hobby Lobby years ago. I don't have an Ikea plant. Maybe I might get one one day, but the Hobby Lobby plant does fine for me as a YouTuber. I have a sleek black leather desk mat that I use every day for my mouse keyboard and I usually keep a couple other things on there like sticky notes if possible but I listen to everything on the iPad Pro either from the speakers coming out of my LG ultra wide monitor which is great for screen usage and also being able to use the app like shift screen with the iPad Pro and getting that full screen real estate but I also listen to everything from those speakers or from my AirPods. And then coming over to the keyboard, I'm using the Satechi Compact Keyboard. And I like it because you can connect up to three devices and it also gives me my number pad on the side. So the, the keyboard setup is kind of like Apple's in a way. So I like the way that the keyboard feels and it gets the job done for me. Next beside that is the Logitech MX Master 2. Now you can't really do everything with the iPad with this mouse as you can on a computer, but I still really like it. And if anything that I need as far as being able to do more with the iPad Pro, especially when it comes to video editing, all I have to do is go over and just use my trackpad on my Apple Magic Keyboard and put that down in front of the screen. Last two things on my desk that I keep is my Xbox controller, so if I want a game, and then also my wireless charging station from Nomad that I can connect my Apple Watch, AirPods, and my Apple phone up to. So that's pretty much my desk setup in a nutshell. I get all of my work done here on a daily basis from content creation to productivity. But that's how I do it as a coach. RJ, how y'all do it up? North? What is up, guys? It's RJ here. And I just want to take a quick second to thank Fernando for including me in this collaboration with all of these other talented creators. Fernando is such an upstanding guy, and I'm so glad I was able to befriend him while on my YouTube journey. Okay, so this is my iPad Pro desk setup. It's pretty minimal and bare bones. I like to keep it this way intentionally because this is essentially a portable workstation for me. I can take this setup with me anywhere I go, whether it be in the driver's seat of my car or in a cafe, it really doesn't matter. I think portability is the most underrated feature of an iPad Pro. It's just this sleek portable workhorse of a tablet that really makes you super productive no matter your surrounding environment. Here we have the third generation 12.9 inch iPad Pro and it is connected to this Dell monitor right here. I reviewed this monitor over on my channel. If you guys do want to check it out, link to my channel is in the description below. You may have noticed there's no black bars on my screen and that's all thanks to this app called Shift Screen. Uh, Fernando covered this app extensively on his channel so if you guys want to learn more about Shift Screen, check out his video. We have a direct USB-C connection coming here from the monitor and you can see that the iPad is being charged while we are working so that is always a nice bonus. This keyboard that I have connected via Bluetooth is the Logitech K380. It goes for around $20 and I've had this ever since my early university days. It's compact enough to fit into a backpack and it has really terrific battery life. I charge this thing about once every two weeks so no complaints over here in the battery department. My go-to hub of choice for this setup is this one right here by a company called Mini X. It goes for around 30 bucks over on Amazon and it is loaded with ports. It is a 6-in-1 adapter and what I really like about this is that it is interchangeable with my MacBook Pro. As a bonus, it also does come with an SD card slot, which is critical for my workflow. My main go-to mouse and probably my best purchase in 2020 is the MX Master 3. It's very expensive for a mouse, but the overall ergonomic design and all the shortcut features really makes this mouse one of the best in class for productivity. Battery life is exceptional and it is a laser mouse, so no matter what surface you are working on, this mouse will work just fine. Yes, even on your bed. I don't have any desk speakers. I feel like the iPad Pro with its quad stereo speaker setup is more than enough for me in terms of audio. When I am connected directly into my monitor, what I like to do is use my AirPods, 
but when I'm not using the monitor, my go-to speaker of choice is of course the ones found internally. And of course, whenever I am on the go, I like to use the Magic Keyboard. You guys already know it is very expensive for a keyboard, but it is the best-in-class keyboard for the iPad Pro. Of course, we can't forget it's magical since it floats. Once again, thank you Fernando so much for having me on. And thank you guys for checking out my iPad Pro desk setup. I will catch you guys over on my channel. And don't forget to flex with your tech. So now we're back to me, guys. This is going to be the final desk setup tour. I appreciate you guys sticking around if you did make it to this very end. And I do want to get started on it, make it quick for you guys. So let's. So we have to start off with the desk itself, right? And this is my, my creme de la creme. I freaking love this desk. It's the one and only actual smart desk that I've owned. It's by a company named Autonomous. The desk itself is actually very sturdy. I will show you guys that it took a little bit of a beating when I did move. It was probably my fault or my mover's fault for not actually protecting it how it should have been protected. But functionally, it still works perfectly. It just has a couple little hiccups on the right side of it and you know a couple little dents in it, which is totally fine. But again, this desk has been absolutely magnificent and it's been my only ever experience with a standing motorized desk. And I'm never going back to a normal desk, guys. But if we continue on, so if we start off on the left side on the actual desk, the first thing you see is my wireless charger by Pitaka. This is actually the four in one air quad. It charges one phone wirelessly. It charges a small device wirelessly as well, like AirPods, it charges your Apple watch. And then also it has another lightning cable. So if you have an iPad with a lightning cable, then you can kind of just plop it on there and it's awesome. And then if we keep going right behind that is actually my basis 16 in one USB-C dock. I know a lot of you guys actually haven't been able to find it, especially the one that has its own power source. Cause that's the one that you would need to get in order to run this situation or this desk setup like I do. But basically, it's just like any other USB-C hub, right? It has, but it has 16 ports instead of anywhere from four to like nine that you would see on a normal USB-C hub. And I love this because I'm able to charge my iPad Pro, charge my MacBook Air, you know, project to another screen on both the iPad and the MacBook Air. And again, it's just really nice. And then I also have some peripherals like USB-A ports in the front and audio jack. So it's all very, very nice and seamless. And I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. And then if we keep going, you see that I have my 29 inch LG monitor that I got at Sam's Club actually. Big sleeper, go to your wholesale stores to buy monitors. They are very, very cheap and they're only like a year old. And that's sitting on top of my Satechi monitor stand to give it a little more elevation to put it over my 2018 iPad Pro, which I use both as an iPad itself and then sometimes I even sidecar it to have a third screen in this setup right here when I really, really need it. But it's rare that I use it as a third screen. I mostly use it just as is right in front of me. And I do end up using the iPad Pro more than the actual Mac OS device, which you guys, if you guys have seen my channel, you shouldn't be surprised. But then if we keep going down after the iPad Pro, again, like I said, that's the 2018 256 gigabyte model. Then I have a Satechi mat right here. It's actually really nice and really sturdy. I was surprised with how thick it was, but in a good way. It just kind of shows you quality. Then on top of that, I have my Logitech Anywhere S2 mouse, which I've had forever since the beginning of this channel, and I love it. The only thing that's an issue with it is that it's charged by micro USB versus USB-C. It's not an issue, but it's just something that I prefer not to deal with. And then again, I have my Satechi compact keyboard. Awesome, because this thing connects to three different devices, and so does the mouse. So I can connect it to both my iPad Pro and my MacBook Air, and then one other device if I ever seen fit. And then if we keep going over to the right, we have my MacBook Air 2020 i5 512 gigabyte. And the reason I say it like that is because you guys know I really don't like that machine. I just use it there and need it for a necessity uh, for work and it's just there. If I could, my, I would be all iPad Pro. If the YouTube channel was my only work, I would obviously be all iPad Pro. But the MacBook Air is sitting on a mop stand, which is something that I really like. So if you guys do have a laptop and want to get it elevated, get a little more circulation in there naturally, Get yourself a stand for it and the mop stand is nice because it's foldable but that's gonna do it with everything that's on my desk obviously i have a little ikea plant back there but all in all pretty minimal and everything is functional i didn't want anything here that didn't have a purpose even to my little coaster on the back left which you guys don't see which is a little new orleans coaster that i have to make sure no water gets condensed onto the actual table itself so that's gonna do it for my desk setup for now like i said i'm gonna add a few more things as the days go on as the time goes on and give you guys a real iPad Pro focused desk setup. But that's gonna do it for now. Leave a comment below to see if you guys are gonna pick up any of the stuff that I said or any of the other creators said. I'm gonna link all of the products and all the links to their channels as well. First link in the description to their channels and then all the products below that guys. But like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. But if you guys do head over to the other creators channels, shoot them a message or comment saying that I sent you and then also give them a sub guys because they really do deserve it. But like I said, that's gonna do it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.